Hello, I am Jishan from 2 to Beam. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, how to make a double panel swim door uh, like this and uh, how to control its uh, swing with the parametric value. If you make it 30, open 30 degree, make it 90, it open 90 degree like this and uh, also you can control the trim if you want it or not put it back and control the height if you want 800 750 but yes just make it back Here's the trim 0 the plan show you like this so I'm going to show you how to make it and stay with me let us start you can download all my files from my website todaytaping.com once I complete the file I will upload here and download it from here thank you we will start from where we left off last video. I already made a trim with frame video. If you didn't watch that video, I will provide a description in the below. Please watch it and uh, come back here. Then it will be very useful for you. For to make a double panel, I will always use generate model to model my panels. Uh, I will not make here is all the dimension and the parameter here. It will be complicated the, uh, the, this file. So I will use always use generic model to create it. You can uh, start the generic model by opening the template file. From here, new family. Use generic generic model. Open. We always use reference lines to create this because reference line is an endpoint. There is you can specify the endpoint. Reference place we cannot. Reference plane we cannot. So you just lock it to the reference plane. Lock it like this and create a parametric swing parameter swing parameters. Add a parameter for a door swing. Make it instance. Okay. Just try to flex it. Yeah, it's working. Flex it one more. Yeah, it's working. Now we create the dimension to control the uh, length of the door. Just add another parameter. It should be type parameter. Make it door panel, whatever name you like. Okay. Just try to flex it. 100. Okay, it's working. Good. Just make the dimensions a little smaller to see easily. Okay, let's try to flex it as much as you possible. Now you make the length of the sorry uh, depth of the panel. If you want, you can make the parameter here, but I won't make the parameter because uh, I don't want to change this width of this door later. If you want, you can make this as a parameter. Then lock the angle. Sorry, this dimension. For the dimension, we lock it and for the angular dimension, also lock it on both sides. Perfect. Now create a reference line to join that. Like that. Good. 
Now try to flex it. If it's working, working. Otherwise, you always flex it. If it's not working in the later state, it is difficult to find it out where the problem is lying. Now it's working. Good. Try extreme 170. Back to 30. Yeah, it's working. Good. Now you make the extrusion to uh, make the door panel, lock it, make, make, make sure that you lock it. Click OK. To control the height, you make another parameter, add door height. Make it type. Okay, give the dimension to 2000 for now. Okay, now go to the extrusion. Uh, now the take the extrusion and give this small button, give the door height. Okay, let's look in 2000. Just go to the 3D view. Oops, reduce the dimension scale. Work. Good. Good. Now you upload to the uh, file, our dot file. Just bring it here. Then you want to log this into the frame, the frame reference planes. To do that, we just clean up all these dimensions and everything. Just hide it to get the uh, exact location. We want to lock it in that position. Just hide that elements. Just hide it for now. We want to bring it that reference line. Use the align tool. And select this one and select the reference line here. Lock it. Take that left reference line. This one. Lock it. Nice. Now to control the length and the height and the swing of this. Uh, panel in this location in this file we need to make some parameters like uh, the same name you can give door panel okay and door height okay We can give the door height like uh, height minus the two frame width then door panel width with minus 2 into frame width plus 20 that 2 edges and overall divided by 2 Good. Now we bring this dimension to here. Lock it. Lower height. Okay. Lower panel. Okay. Boom. Now it's working. Good. 
They'll try to add one more is uh, the swing angle, low swing actually. You can make a swing angle to uh, better understand better. Make it an uh, instance parameter, then we can control individually all those. Okay, now we give this value. To. Oops, we didn't uh, we, in the parameter, we didn't make it as a uh, angle dimension, that's why it didn't show there. So, that modify you cannot modify after once you make it, so you have to delete it and create a new one. Okay, just remove that one. Add one more time. Swing angle. Common, make it common. Okay. Then it's a uh, angle. Make it instance. Okay. Give some dimension forty five. Okay. Now you give the go the swing angle okay now it's working good now you try to flex it zero yeah it's working perfect okay type wow working good you always flex it and then you understand where the problem is lying no we said that element we didn't make the reference planes here so we'll make a reference planes now to add the door panel create the dimension as same as the previous end Yes. Make it done. Make it done. Okay, perfect. Add the element. I had all the element to get the perfect. Question. Hide this one also. Hide the element. Temporarily hide the elements. Okay, now mirror this door. Or you can bring the new family. Both work, both ways you can work it. Now you mirror this one. With the pick axis, the reference you pick it. Delete this one. Uh, I forgot to add. Delete the copy. Now you align it. Align with the reference lines. Lock it. Lock it. Now try to flex it. You know, since the instance, you have to make it here the instance swing angle. Okay, perfect. It's working. Check everything is right. Okay. Now, if you want to add a door handle, uh, you want to make. Uh, a reference line to the position of the handle you have to define like this don't make any items without a reference plane or reference line it will always break the if you don't make the reference line or reference plane it will always break the family so you make sure always using the reference line and reference plane to to control the object make it 100 if you want you can make it a parameter 100 but i don't know and uh, just 
lock the angle when you swing it it will follow that angle and you need to provide a one dimension actually to the length to keep up the length actually otherwise it won't it will confuse where the length will go that element then just look if the dimension doesn't matter okay just try to flex it yeah it's working it's working make it uh, 30 okay it's working and uh, I already made a handle with the face based generic model we can open that it's very simple just a handle I don't want to waste my time to show you the, to make this it's very simple it's a face based uh, template generic model load into our panel okay once it loaded you can see here handle just bring it here and you lock it align it lock it one more time align it lock it good now you try to swing it one more time what if it's working 60s it's working good perfect now you make 120 it's working good you add to 30 okay make it zero try it yeah it's working perfect make it 30 again load into project Okay. Over at experimental version. Oops, you will get a warning because you already given a parameter value here. So you cancel it. So you don't want to mess with that. There's no problem, but you need to provide it again. I don't want it. Okay. Just use over at existing version. Good. Now it's okay. Edit type. It's already defined. If you want to provide the material or panel material, if you want to control the material, you can provide it here. Material. Okay. okay. Can provide material here. New materials. Now you upload to. We love that. Or get existing version. Good. With that, you can see the materials here. Perfect. Now. If you want to control the height or uh, the position of the handle, you need to provide one more dimension. Make it equal equal. Or you can give any dimension if you want. Or you can parametrically adjust the the height to provide a one more dimension. Here I am not going to that. I don't want to over constrain my sketch with uh, too many parameters won't make any problem but I'll always try to keep and clean my all the families very less parametric I will do what I need only I don't want to do if I can do that will always save my time and uh, keep it simple ready just try zero okay wow nothing perfect Now, if you want to make a symbolic lines, 
just try to hide it there is the elements and I will take symbolic lines to show in the plan that's why good straight line go straight with the parametric select it just move it a little away completed the modeling make sure that using the exact uh, door cut and door projection something like that then you can easily control this in the project environment using visibility graphics good I use the projection, door swing projection arc. The coin arc, perfect. We move right to the other side. This is not so complicated. The mirror can always work it. Try to fix it. The wood. Not the height, the wood, 750 or 800. Yeah, it's working. Go back to 1000. Good. Okay. Now reset all the temporary head and elements. Looking very nice. Looking very nice. Now you make a new project, export it. We will try how the things are working. Wall. Better to reduce the wall thickness a little bit. And it always make it clear. Wall. Okay. Use some walls. Mm. Yeah, wall, external walls. That's okay. Go back, export. Project one. Wow. Good. It's working, but uh, we need to hide the door panel in the plan view. So you select it. Hide from plan RCP. And left, right. Uh, you can keep friend back okay okay go do the same for this one also and ask you left right okay so have the fire loading the project okay system motion boom gone Hi uh, guys, oh, this look very well. Nice. You can control the thing here, control the height and everything there. Okay, I wonder, yeah, it's working. Good. Making some 2200. Nice, it's working. Try to use the swing. You can provide the materials there. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you.